Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Sarah here from Pleasant View once more time. And uh, just thought I'd do a quick little brief video tonight. I'm back in the goat house milking. Uh, Andy's taking care of feeding the pigs and so we're tag teaming it tonight. And uh, I just thought as I was looking around, you know what, I'm gonna share a quick little video on a contraption that um, might seem interesting to some of you. But uh, it's called a hobble and it's basically a um, nylon strap. Okay, you can see there's like some metal rings there. It's got a fastener here. And what it does is sometimes when we have, whether it's a newly freshened goat, you know, she's had her babies and now she of course is producing milk and needs to be milked for the first time uh, up in the stanchion. Or perhaps it's just a goat that uh, we call it dancing. She likes to dance a little bit in the stanchion. We don't wanna obviously have an overturned bucket of milk. Uh, what do they always say? There's no crying over spilled milk. Well, in our world, um, the goat's milk is precious. Not that we cry over it, but we do appreciate every last drop and so we wanna protect it. And not lose any of it. So sometimes whether it's biting flies or like I said she's new to the whole milking process or she just likes to dance around we have to use a little contraption like this which is totally humane um, you know it doesn't hurt the goat at all it's just something to simply help us as we get her milked and um, I mean she's got to be relieved of that pressure in her udder anyway but it's just a nice little contraption that we put onto her legs and I'm going to show how here in a moment and um, you'll see then how it will disable her from being able to raise her leg higher uh, high enough to kick the bucket and knock it over which helps me as the milker so I'm going to do a couple different segments here and then I'll tie it together at the end not that you need to know that but um, just wanted to show you what to start and then you'll be able to see it when I put it on. Uh, Ivy's going to be my assistant this evening. She's the one of our six ladies that likes to dance a little bit more. And so I will be putting this on Ivy and uh, checking back in in a moment to show you how it went. Be back. Okay, so this is Ivy, my assistant this evening. Hello, Ivy dear. Yes. Say hi to everybody out there in Facebook land. She's like, I don't care. Just give me more grain. She is a little bit low on grain, but I'll get that in a minute. So um, Ivy's gonna be my assistant. Like I said, she's my she's my dancing queen here. She likes to jitter around a little bit in the stanchion. Not so much to begin with, but once her grain starts running low and she says, "Hey, I've had enough," uh, she likes to um, she likes to get out of here. So what I'm gonna do is the hobble is going to be placed right above her knees. Okay, that joint right there, that's her knee. And so I'm going to be placing the hobble on her at approximately this point. So obviously since I'm not an octopus having eight hands and arms, um, I need to put the camera down and I'll be right back to show you once I put it on her how it looks. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, as promised, I wanted to show what the hobble looks like once it's on the goat. So you can see it's just nylon here like a dog's collar. It is not uncomfortable. Um, perfectly cushioned on her, you know, on her leg here. Now the two rings you can see here, the metal rings, okay, or the couplers, however they want to be termed. You can see that the nylon strap goes around her leg in one, uh, one side, goes through the metal strap. There's a nice little area here that can be adjusted, of course, by how tight uh, I put the strap on her as well as the space within her legs, etc., etc. So I just have to kind of, it's nice because it gives a custom fit. So you can see once again, I'm putting it again above her knees so that you can see right there, she's able to move. This is not inhumane. She's able to move around comfortably. It's just to restrict that leg from getting any higher so she cannot knock over that uh, bucket of milk. So as I turn over here to show Cassie, obviously couple are free or uh, excuse me, hobble free. When a goat lifts its leg, since the knee uh, on a human, you know, we would be, our knee would be this way, if you will, a goat or a dairy cow, uh, other animals, their knee goes back this way. And so her foot is going to raise up this way, thus she could nick the bucket of milk and knock it over. So again, the hobble that I'm using on Ivy, uh, that I like to use when I milk her, it just gives me some peace of mind that once she starts dancing around, uh, she won't knock that over and I can successfully finish milking her, which is what we need because um, when a goat, and you can see her udder is nice and full here and she's all engorged waiting for me. When a goat uh, or a cow does not have their udder emptied, they can get a, a very nasty infection. The term is called mastitis and basically it's a hardening of the udder. The more technical terms and more technical details, but basically her milk then becomes unconsumable because it has, I believe, bacteria in it and it's just nasty. They can get a fever, um, and it, it's just a lot more complicated than that. But just the point is, it's very important that I get her fully milked, and the hobble lets me do that, all right? So I might get a chance, as you can see, she's lifting it up here. Maybe I can quickly grab the bucket. 
Cookie's waiting her turn. She's like, hey, stop talking, get moving. So this is my milking pail. And I just want you to see the height. So you can see when I place it here, now with the hobble, she's able to move around if she needs to. But again, we're restricting that action here that she cannot get up and get to that milk bucket, which is so important. So again, just wanted to share that with you all this evening. Thought it was a neat little, neat little piece of equipment that sure makes a difference in our world. And um, just thought you might find that interesting too of different things that we do to, uh, to get the job done. So I know IB is about ready to say, hang up the phone, lady. Come on, get me milked. Yep, and she wants more grain. So I'm going to stop chatting and wish everybody a very, very pleasant evening. I need to get my scooper here. Sorry for the tour of the, the milk house there. But everybody have a great Sunday night, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Want to say bye, Ivy? Bye. Ha, 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 ha.